Apple's iPad Mini may be a concentration of the iPad's best features, but it's also a concentration of the worst. As I'll show you, it's just as frustrating to crack open and work on as its larger sibling. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. The iPad Mini is Apple's answer to the rapidly growing market for 7-inch tablets, currently dominated by Amazon's Kindle Fire HD and Google's Nexus 7. The Mini has a 7.9-inch IPS display with a resolution of 1024 by 768, a dual-core A5 processor, 512 megs of RAM, a 5-megapixel rear camera, 1.2-megapixel front camera, and comes in either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi plus cellular models. Our test unit had 16 gigs of storage, but 32 and 64 gig versions are also available. As with the full-size iPad, I began cracking open the Mini by heating the edges of the front panel to loosen the adhesive that holds the glass to the metal enclosure. Using a series of thin metal and plastic tools, I gently pried loose the panel, taking care not to damage the panel's ribbon cable, which is located in the lower right corner. I won't be able to completely remove the panel until I take out the display, so I'll fold it over face down for now. Next to come out are the screws that hold the LCD in place, a large metal plate that sits behind the LCD, and a small metal plate that covers many of the motherboard connectors. I can now detach and completely remove the LCD and front panel. With a little gentle persuasion, the battery is next to come out. The remaining components, including the motherboard, or their connector cables, are held to the Mini's metal enclosure with a lot of adhesive. Now, forcing them loose could damage them, and I want to put this unit back together in working order, not destroy it. So the only thing left for me to do here is to remove the EMI RFI shields from the motherboard for a look at the chips that power the iPad Mini. Unfortunately, Apple took the good and bad from the iPad when building the Mini. The device is sturdy and well-built, but the copious amounts of adhesive make it extremely difficult to repair. In fact, its smaller size actually makes it more difficult to work on. Now, for more information on the iPad Mini, including real-world tests and pricing, check out Scott Stein's full CNET review. And for a comparison of the Mini against the Nexus 7 and Kindle Fire HD, Jessica Dolcourt has you covered. Now, to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.